Um, so we were talking earlier about, you know, the you being able to blend the um, slam poetry scene with um, academic poetry. Um, what did you learn from slam poetry? Was it sort of where you learned how to be a performer more than just reciting your poetry? Yeah, you know, uh, I learned, I learned just to back it up, I learned a lot from, from being in open mics. You know, I think open mics are, are a great way to form community to, I mean, to, to get a start and to, to, to have a, a group of people, you know, and I, I guess I, I kind of come back at, at it like this, is that in there, there's so many spaces where black folks feel unlistened to and ignored and, uh, and um, uh, silenced. And open mic is one of those spaces where I that was opening up at that time in the 90s, you know, sure there's still open mics now but where people could feel like this is a group of people that will listen to me and they will empathize with where I'm coming from and um I can I can kind of air these issues that I've had out add on my mind and on my heart and uh and 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 also um deliver this this message this this issue in a way that is impactful through my through my voice and through my uh, my movement etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, so that's really a lot of where that start that started and it starts to you from learning from watching other people on stage do their thing you know, you know so you know going to open mic and you know waiting for two hours or an hour to be on on stage and hit it for five minutes, you know, uh, and, and, and learning, of, uh, and also just getting that, that group of people that, that will exchange information and conversation with you about not just your poem, but about poetry, about politics, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so that's a lot where that started. And then going into SLAM, is like another level of that uh, 